It never ends, folks. It never ends. It will never end, okay, when it comes to this hobby. Some of you may say it's ridiculous. It's getting out of hand. It's getting out of control. When are we going to stop spending so much money and enjoy our systems? video I thought I was never going to make. But as I sat here today thinking about my next video, I happened to play music through the Taiko network switch that you all saw briefly. Now, some of you may say that's ridiculous for $5,400. Actually, the majority of you said that, which I understand because at the end of the day, it's your opinion, but do keep in mind that it isn't your money. It's my money. Your job is simply to sit back, relax, take note, take it or leave it, but in no way should you be upset at the fact that I'm spending my money however I want. But anyway, that's besides the point of this video. I have sat here today for most of the evening listening to my system playing songs that I am very used to through the Esoteric N20, N, uh, O1XD, excuse me. Hopefully you saw that review. If you haven't seen my review of this piece, please check the link in the description underneath. Anyway, I sat here, I listened to the Takeo Extreme with the network switch, and I knew something changed. At first, I found it extremely nuanced, more resolution, but also, I would say, a little bright. And that was a day or so ago. Left it playing music overnight, things got better the following day as it usually happens for all of us in this hobby. But my mind said, you know what, Jay? Your mind is playing tricks on you. Your system was sounding phenomenal before this network switch got here. You were going from the Takeo Extreme straight into the router for the last few days. Because as you all know, I sold my Nordos network switch with the power supply. So I hesitated, I actually doubted myself, and I completely wanted to believe that what I was hearing was not real. And I wanted to say to myself, hey, go back, because your system was sounding just as good, the network switch did not make a difference. Well, I went back maybe about 30 minutes ago, after listening to my system straight through, because this is the best way to compare. I took the network switch out of the mix, plug the ethernet straight into the Takeo Extreme music server, and yep, I simply cannot go back anymore. I cannot go back to that type of setup, that type of connection. The difference is real, but what really upsets me in a way, which is the main theme, the main subject, the main topic of this video, is the fact that it never ends, folks. It never ends. It will never end, okay, when it comes to this hobby. Some of you may say it's ridiculous. It's getting out of hand. It's getting out of control. When are we going to stop spending so much money and enjoy our systems? Well, wait a minute. I'm going to answer those right now. I'm going to answer those of you who have that mentality. I want to address those of you right now. When is it going to end? Let me answer you. When you close your computers, when you stop buying magazines, 
Okay, when you stop looking and reading forums, when you stop watching YouTube channels that have to do with audio and video, like mine and many others out there, so I'm not the only one putting out this content, when you completely seclude yourself and you spend time in your room, closed doors, with your family, with your wife, with your husband, and forget about anything else besides the music. That's when it ends. That's when it stops. But as long as you continue to open up more magazines, visit shows, talk to your friends about what's the next great thing, it will never end for you as an audiophile. Now, it doesn't benefit me at all to say this because, as you know, I sell a lot of my used equipment. But I'm here being real, 100% real with you all. It will never end. I'm even upset at the fact that I heard a difference here. But that difference now, I cannot live without. So here, so here I go, improving my digital experience. Which brings me to my next point, our digital experience. To me, when I hear something like this, and I do the A and B, it makes me realize how many more things we still haven't tapped into due to our network, due to the, just all the influences that we get through our typical ethernet connections, through you know the time that it takes for that transmission to happen from Tidal, from wherever Tidal is located or Kobos is located, all that travel time until it hits us here all of that interference is real. And when you put something in front of your device to mitigate some of that interference, some of those negative effects, is when you realize how much better digital can be. The problem here is many of you, unfortunately, because you don't have the budget, because you know simply you don't want to spend the money, um, the problem is some of you haven't heard it, haven't heard the difference. Haven't heard how much better it can get and how much more we have still to go to make our digital experience superior to what we are accustomed to. Remember, I've always said it to a lot of my friends, and I'm going to use this as a perfect analogy. I'm into bodybuilding, okay? And so you can see yourself in the mirror. Let's say you're a guy or a, ga a gal that works out. And you look at your shoulders and biceps and triceps and you're working them out really hard, right? So you feel, wow, wow, they look amazing. They look great. And they might, they probably do. However, until you stand next to another girl or a guy who's the same height as you and you have something to compare to, you'll realize what your biceps and triceps and shoulders are lacking. It's the only way you'll know because you have to see someone else's next to you to really understand what you don't have. Same thing with this. Until you do the work and you do the comparisons, you have no idea what's missing with your digital experience. So very soon you will all get to hear, if you're still around, uh, you'll get to hear the comparison of my digital without this device and with this, with this device. And trust me, <laughs> you don't need headphones. You're not gonna need headphones to hear the difference. One thing I can say is, although I believe this device, this network switch, makes a difference, I don't know if I would recommend it for those of you or to those of you who don't have ultra revealing systems. A lot needs to be said, conversations need to be had about systems that are not at the level of my system or you know even under my system right because there are many great systems out there that are watching me right now system owners that are watching me right now but i don't think that i would buy something like this if your system is really not at the level that it needs to be to capitalize on the performance improvement that this piece certainly brings to the table a hundred percent. If I had a system that was just a lot more watered down, for lack of a better word, I probably would look into spending my $5,000 into something else. 
maybe a better power cord for my amplifier, maybe a maybe selling the amplifier and buying an amplifier that's five thousand dollars more. I would look in other things that my system can improve upon. So there you have it. What do you guys think? When is this madness going to end? Because it certainly isn't ending for me. Unfortunately, I have a YouTube channel to run. So it's a journey for me. It will never end for me. But what about you? When is it going to end for you? Because I got news for all of you. I got news for all of you. The industry is not slowing down. It's not stopping. There's going to be more crazy, crazier, actually crazier products out there being manufactured for us to be like, this is ridiculous. The ridiculousness will continue and there's nothing you can do about it. And as long as you're in front of magazines, forums, and YouTube or any other social media platform watching audio related videos or media, I got news. It won't end for you either. Comment below. Let me get your thoughts. Talk to you soon.